This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by T-Mobile. Mitt Romney is in uh, New Hampshire and he's uh, speaking at a town hall event and somebody asked him, hey, do you think global warming is real? He has, you know, a mildly reasonable answer. Uh, first he says, I don't speak for the scientific community, of course, but I believe the world's getting warmer. Hey, look at that, a Republican saying the world's getting warmer, that's good. He says, I can't prove that, but I believe based on what I read that the world is getting warmer. And number two, I believe that humans contribute to that. I don't know how much our contribution is to that, because I know there have been periods of greater heat and warmth in the past, but I believe we contribute to that. Human beings contributing to global warming. Woo! A Republican saying that. Of course, now 99.9% .9 of the scientists in the world totally agree with that, so it should actually, of course, be the least controversial thing in the world. Uh, now, of course, don't get him wrong, he doesn't want to do anything about it. So do you want to do cap and trade? Oh, no, no, of course not. Are, are, are we going to do any laws here in the United States to tackle it? He says, quote, we don't call it America warming, we call it global warming. Meaning, until every other country does something, I ain't going to do a damn thing about it. So actually, Republicans should be all right, don't worry, it's not like Mitt Romney would try to help the situation, right? But that is not how other Republicans and conservatives took it. Rush Limbaugh, of course, went on the war path and, in fact, went over the top. Let's go. Let's watch uh, clip 10. Bye-bye nomination. Bye-bye nomination. Another one down. So uh, Rush Limbaugh immediately declaring the end of Mitt Romney's uh, candidacy. Based on one simple thing, he actually believes in a fact. He's not going to do anything about it. All he's saying is, I believe it is, in fact, a fact, which is what everybody says. All the scientists agree. But the Republican uh, primary voters, apparently, um, led by uh, people like Rush Limbaugh, don't care about facts. They don't believe in facts. If you say you believe in a fact, you're done. End of this. Your nomination is over. Okay? So, now Rush Limbaugh uh, had a theory as to why Romney's saying this. Let's go to that next, clip 11. Uh, we're, we're, we're in the midst here of discovering that this is all a hoax. The last year has established and the whole premise of man-made global warming is a hoax. And we still have presidential candidates who want to buy into it. Why? Because in New Hampshire, they obviously care about it. So you go to Iowa and say, hey, by the way, I'm all for ethanol subsidies. And you go to Florida and say, hey, you seasoned citizens, I'm all for never-ending Social Security. So wherever you go, whatever they care about there is what you're for. All right, so he's saying that uh, Romney is trying to please Republican voters, but that doesn't make any sense. The Republican voters don't like that because of brainwashing from Fox News Channel and Rush Limbaugh for all these years. You understand how that train works, right? Because why do they all care about trying to say that global warming is a hoax when it... No one believes that. No one in their right mind believes that, right? There are no, there's no scientific evidence of that at all. In fact, that's like I've been telling you, almost every scientist in the world believes that global warming is real and it is caused by man. So uh, the reason that the talk show hosts push that is because they get paid to. Because the oil companies, the energy companies, and many other companies profit uh, from the pollution that uh, goes into our air and that causes global warming. So they uh, have a tremendous profit incentive to get people to believe that global warming is a hoax. That's what they pay Rush Limbaugh and other conservatives to do, basically, through their advertising, etc. So then they put that message out there, and Republican voters, not thinking, not doing any research, uh, generally go, oh, okay, if Rush said it, if Fox News said it, it must be true, then I hate Mitt Romney. Uh, for example, you look at the numbers. 32% of Republicans think the effect of global warming uh, is already being felt. Okay, not bad. I'm surprised it's as high as 32%. 36% believe the rise in the Earth's temperature is caused by humans. Again, I'm impressed that it's 36%, but obviously the great majority do not. Here's the other number. 67% say that the seriousness of global warming is exaggerated in the news. If anything, it's the opposite. It's an indisputable fact and the news treats it like it's a debate. Right? Oh, some people say this and some people say that. Uh, but you've got two-thirds of the Republican voters who think uh, that, you know, you should not be talking about this, that it's exaggerated, and a great majority of them don't believe it at all. So why would Mitt Romney try to be pleasing voters by saying that? Well, okay, 
First of all, Rush Limbaugh's theory makes no sense in that particular regard. Second of all, the reason, the real reason Mitt Romney's doing it is he has this enormous reputation as a flip-flopper. So he's got to try to find a way to get beyond that. So his campaign put out statements after Romney said this, saying, see, this is what Romney said before, and he's actually sticking to it. T-Mobile Rocket 3.0 4G laptop sticks allows you to take your 4G high-speed internet wherever your laptop is. Of course, this is both Mac and PC compatible, and it's really light and it fits in your pocket. You get on-the-go 4G speeds. In fact, you can download 21 megabytes per second. That's really fast. 